Hey guys, hey. welcome. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> your papa. Your <laughs> welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Fuki, and if you're new here, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. And today we have a face that we are all supposed to be used to that we all know. And this is Miss Tropa Fatsudambire. She has her own YouTube. She has her own YouTube channel, which she got a like, comment, and subscribe to. Yes. Okay, I will surely put all her details down below. And I remember last time I was like, "You're not allowed on my channel, girl. You're not allowed to come back." Yeah, I am. I'm stuck with her, guys. <laughs> I'm quarantining with her, so I have no choice. Unfortunately, can you please keep quiet? I will give you the permission to talk. This is the reason, guys. This is the reason. Can you keep quiet? <laughs> <laughs> it's the adults that we are will start talking. So today, guys, we'll be having a talk video. Um, we'll be talking about family, friendship, and healing. And because the other time she's always singing, that's why she decided to clarify that we are having a talk video. As we go on. Proper Fazo. Hi. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> How old are you? Twelve. Uh, I don't like you, you know. Anyways, let's begin, guys. Uh Ropa. Okay. Um family, friendship and healing. To you who is a friend. Uh, how do you categorize like friends, you know, classmates, you know, just a genuine person who I say hi to all the time? For me, a friend is um, a person who's able to, f firstly, it's someone that you have some, that you have things in common with. So you at least have to have some common ground. Like, how do you guys start talking? Like, there has to be something that actually connects you to. And then... A friend should be someone who is able to support you in whatever you do. Someone who is supposed to, someone who can give you good advice. Someone who can walk the journey with you. For me, I think that's that's a friend. And then when it comes to acquaintances, these are just people whom we know, whom we can talk to. But they're not um, as close as the people that we call our friends because we don't let them in into our personal space. They're just people that we can say, hi, how are you? And, you know, you go your separate ways. You you are, you're able to maybe talk and stuff like that, but then you don't really get into the personal things. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think a friend... Thank you for asking me. I think a friend, <laughs> a person, I think a friend is someone who you connect with on many levels. Like you mm -hmm. said, someone who you guys can relate to many things, yeah. right? Definitely. Because there can be those people who you, maybe you have things in common, but then intellectually you guys do not connect. Emotionally, sure. yeah. <laughs> emotionally, you don't, you know, connect. You don't have um, common hobbies. Mm -hmm. I think even background can play, um, you know, some part in this yeah. whole thing of you guys being friends because in that way you guys can relate more you can share your stories more because they're those people who you can be comfortable with sharing certain stories with mm -hmm. you know like girl you know i cannot afford to do this because you know home this this problem yeah. and this problem but then there are those people you are not comfortable you mm -hmm. know yeah. and you end up choosing to say specific things and around them and i don't can you say that's a friend though like I see you know like ah you know I can tell about this problem but then not this problem and I think to a certain extent it's a yes, it's a yes because for me I've got a lot of friends or yeah <laughs> I actually do have a lot of friends and I'm very choosy as to who do I tell certain things like um I can tell a about my love life about um my social life but i cannot tell a about financial problems. financial problems etc and then friend b i could go to this person and tell this person about my financial problems about problems at home and then they'll give me good advice they might help me through and see me through but this person could just not be the person that i go to and tell and tell them about my friendship my love life about etc my emotional part of me because they just won't be there for me in that sense 
So I don't know how how that happens, but they are my friends, but they are those yeah, friends. Yeah, you choose that, what. Yeah. Okay, I guess I get you. Now I'm really confused because I've got many people who I've, you know, placed on different levels and I call them my friends, all of them. But I really don't know. Are they really friends? Are they just for who I talk to specific things? Or... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. And then the second point is one way or another, we all fight with our friends, right? Mm-hmm. And I've actually fought with, you know, friends who I thought I cannot live without them, you know? And when we broke the up, day the, ones. the day ones, you know, the real niggas, you know, and, you know, the day I broke up with these friends of mine, you know, I was like, damn, this hurts. You know, it hurts more than a whole relationship. I have to tell you this, like when friends fight and you feel like you're going through a whole breakup, I feel like it's very emotional and yeah. it's one of the hardest things that anyone has that we that we go through because for me i remember when i lost this one friend of mine this happened in second year we had been going through a lot of fights and and so on and i just came to a point where i decided that i need my peace so i need to let go of her and i just need to move on with my life it hurts in such a way because you begin to think about everything that you've been through the support the telling each other stories etc what you you begin to think about what you've been through with the person and then now you you also begin to think that okay so what now where am i going to get such a friend mm-hmm. who's going to feel in her place because for me i'm a very emotional person i should tell you and when i open my heart to you i'm not just giving you and an insane little bits of my heart. I'm giving you my whole heart because I'm a very emotional person. So when breakups happen, any time, whether it's a boyfriend or it's a girlfriend, it really hurts. Yeah. It hurts so bad. Yeah, I actually experienced a breakup, right? My friend and I were going through these, you know, moments. And the thing is that I'm not even the one who caused the fight between us. Neither did she. It was some external source, mm-hmm. right? So me and her were fighting, were fighting. And then I broke up with my boyfriend, like, today. And then the next day, she goes, like, baby girl, I love you a lot, but I cannot do this anymore. So imagine, I was just there, like, who do I call? Should I go back to the guy? Because I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah, fine. So as much as you go through these breakups at all, if it's meant to be, you guys will mend your ways. Like yeah. You guys will try and fix your, you know, relationships. But it's also okay to let it go. It's okay it to let it go. It Sometimes is. you just need... I'll testify. Yes. Um, a friend of mine once told me that we meet to part and part to meet. And sometimes that person was just in your life for a certain season. And they were there to fulfill that season. And it's done. And it's done. So let it go. Do not so force. it's okay sometimes to let it go. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So do you think after you guys mend your friendship, after this big fight, you guys break up and everything, do you think when you guys realize that, no, me and this girl, you know, friendship made in heaven, do you think your friendship will still be the same or it will change somehow, somewhere or what? I okay based on personal experience I think um when we had our fight and trying to go back to normal it's, it's it's never the same as it used to be but what I've noticed is that it's it's the effort that matters and when I'm saying effort it has to be from both sides so if I'm putting in the effort then my friend also has to put the same amount of effort mm-hmm. but if it's not, if you're not meeting each other halfway, it certainly won't work. It won't work. Yeah, I actually feel like when you guys are trying to mend your friendships, I don't think it works because all of them, we might still be friends at some point I fought with, but mm-hmm. trust me, in my heart, you're not at the same place you were last time before we fought. Yeah. Because you've probably said some things and, you know, you cannot take back words. You exactly. probably showed me some things that I'd be like, so next time when you fight, you're probably going to do the same thing. Yeah. And trust me, it's not like we're going to talk the and same way. Sorry, I might just be drifting away from the topic <clears throat> a little bit. But I feel like when you, whenever your friend does something, it's 
key to address it there and then. True. There are these people who you do when their friend does something, you keep it in. It's not even about friendships, or just friendships. In our normal relationships, when a person does something, don't keep it and don't hold it in. And I'm talking like this because I think I've had the same problem, and I'll just be like, okay. She did this once. Okay. I write it down. Not like I really write it down, but like yeah. I note it mentally. Second time she does something, because I'm not, in as much as I'm a really vocal person, like I love to talk, but I'm not good at addressing issues and I'm not good at like confrontations. So I I'll I'll just like ignore it. But the time I burst, guys, yo. <laughs> Day one, you did this. Day two, you ate my food. <laughs> So this person will be like, but why were you holding on to all these things? And I've yeah. noticed that I'm not the only one with this problem. When I also fought with my friend at the time, I then all these things were coming up. Yeah, in 2016 you did this, 2018 you did this. I'm like, but why didn't you tell me why all these things? Like, why were you quiet about them? Yeah, I could have changed something. So if you don't address these things, then this is why. This is how friends, most friendships end up going through this breakup because you were not addressing issues when they were meant to be addressed and you keep hurting yourself. I think that's why we're different. I think I tell you, mm. I talk and people will be like, no, that was so rude. You shouldn't have said it like that. No, babe, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to tell you as it is. And if you hurt me, I'll tell you, please apologize or take back your yeah. words some or some way or we just end this because I cannot be your friend and then you say such hurtful things about me, mm -hmm. right? I will tell you. Yeah, so I personally think friendships cannot go back to the way they were before, you know, a whole fight. Yeah. Fine. And we move to family. My question is, just because you and I are family, Ropa, are we obliged to love each other, communicate with each other, and always put each other first? We're not friends. We're family. Blood. What do y'all think? I think it's a tricky question, hey. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll take this in a script in a spiritual context. I feel in a spiritual context, um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> as family, we are supposed to look after each other, communicate, love each other, because you are your brother's keeper, and the word of God advises us to love each other. And if you're not going to love each other at home. You're not going to practice it out. It's it's okay. You will be able to practice it outside, but as people say, care to begin at home. So if you're not able to do some of these things at home, how are you able to do them outside? And then on a much realistic note, no, I'm not obliged to because there are those people who are just hard to love, man. That's very true. <laughs> there are people who are hard to love. You communicate with them. It's half you you meet halfway. Sometimes they act like they don't want to talk to you at all. You try your best. You really want to love these people, but some people they even use black magic on you. <laughs> so it's, it's it's really hard, honestly. Yeah, and but that's very true. Family hurts you the most. Yeah. Sometimes they say the hard harshest things, and but still. Yeah, I think I've actually yeah. met some relatives of mine. I mean, girl will be like. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? Why are you gonna be fake to me? Yeah, I, I'm fake not gonna, fake. and I'm not gonna add on to this. I think yeah. he said it's like you know, yeah. Um, okay. So you see how back in the day they'll be like my guru and my nini and who they're all staying in the same household and everything. They all love each other. I <laughs> <laughs> Do you think with each passing generation, families are drifting more apart or? What's really going on? Because I feel like they're really, really drifting more apart. Because Kumusha, my granny's house is like here, right? And then yeah. my uncle's house is like across the road. That's how close they were even, you know, when this home home state was started. But then now, oh, you spend like a whole 10 years without seeing your uncle and yeah. I think this has more to do with how we are, the whole world is advancing so people are going are going to other places to look for jobs to look for better working opportunities mm -hmm. and if, if if it's not that then it's just people wanting to have their own to be in their own space yeah and 
just not being where everyone else is because probably as i said before as black people ganda <laughs> guys i don't know what's wrong with the people of my skin but whenever you see someone flourishing especially if it's someone from your bloodline jealousy jealousy overtakes you. you you it grows and you will hear no it's now when we go to these churches these aunts start to speak through us <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> which aunties they don't know shandiru yeah <laughs> Yeah, I think I so and so. Okay, you. sometimes it's not even about like what I'm talking about, like when these arms speak through you when you go to church. But jealous, you hear from A, B, or C, or D, or person A, B, or C, or D that your aunt was speaking ill about you. She thinks that you're using something to get your riches or whatever, or they just talk point blank that they don't want you to succeed. They are wondering why you're succeeding, but their family mm-hmm. members yeah, are, not, are, not. are not succeeding. So it's because of these little things that I feel like as generations are, yeah, you know, progressing. continue progressing. Yeah we are not able to have that same bond that people of the old, our forefathers had, that we can actually live together as a whole family, family. with your aunts, with your uncles, yeah. etc. But if I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to end there. <laughs> I'm sorry guys that I'm a very talkative guest today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then I don't think? want this video to be very long. I think what you said is, you know, points you know you hit the nail on the head yeah uh the last topic not topic question is <clears throat> how do you, you deal send it like a show now question say it again question <laughs> <laughs> okay um how does one heal or maintain peace from you know friends that betray them family that betrays them and hurts them and yeah how do you how do you just keep your inner peace and protect yourself from all this can i talk i was actually about to say can i give this one to you because i will have a gift of talking (laughs) okay personally i feel like sometimes it's really good to be ignorant okay not to to a greater extent Mm -hmm. but sometimes just act like you don't see things and i I feel like it will help you a lot because i mean if i'm to turn around and then replace to be like (laughs) Right, and then I see her. I'll just be like, you know what, my girl, that's your problem. Now I'm just gonna, you know, <laughs> it's like I cannot see you, and I'll move on with my life. You're gonna end up with your own problems, Ropa, and you're gonna be like, this girl I hate, and you're gonna die of your jealousy and mm. you know your hatred in you. And me, I'll be like, you know what, she did it last year, maybe for God, I don't even care. Yeah. So if you turn a blind eye, and you know, don't involve yourself too much in this family politics. Because those ones, they'll be like... Even the friends. Yeah. Okay, it's not just actually with your family. Even with friends, try to have a few friends. Not have a lot of friends like I do. Because when you have a few friends, you're able to just... You keep your peace, man. Like, have one or two friends. You won't have problems. Like me. Jiggy, jiggy, you have a lot of friends. Ah, ah. David, they have a WhatsApp group to talk about you. <laughs> I hope I see what. Yeah. And about. I wanted to talk also on healing. Mm-hmm. I know I've been going spiritual all today, <laughs> but um, pray. Sometimes you you just need to pray, like ask God to help you to forgive this person and to let it go, because sometimes you can't do it by yourself. Yeah, so you need to pray and ask God to help you to forgive and to forget. It's, it can be easy to forgive, but to forget, it's, it's a whole other that's issue. So, I think that's important for healing. And to also address the issue, even though you guys might have broken up or you've moved on, but it's important to talk to each other about what happened and get closure. Closure is important. <laughs> for me <laughs> I feel like for me that works um, it has worked in the past and I think it can work for you too 
yeah so one tip advice uh like what Ropa said forgive and forget and when you say to someone Ropa I forgive you never bring the topic up again mm-hmm. Ropa last year you did this and this and this I forgave you but you still did it Mm-mm. you didn't forget you didn't forgive <laughs> Do not bring up all yeah. topics. So yeah, guys, that was basically it from me, Miss Pookie and Rapa. <laughs> and Rapa for the Namira. Thank you very much for you know being my quarantine bay. You're welcome. <laughs> and yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And after this, you go to Miss Rapa for the Namira's channel. Yes, please. bye. <laughs>